Hello guys, this is Raul one more time bringing you another review. This time we will be reviewing the LifeProof Bike Bar Mount. So what we are going to uh, do is, well as you can see on the back, my iPhone is still underwater. I'm just keeping it over there, just because. So um, presentation again, this is great. It, the box that it comes with, it's this inside over here, it's great presentation. This is what it comes, the mount itself, the ball joint and these little wrappers. At the beginning you might be confused what it is for but we'll go ahead and explain that. So this is where of course the iPhone goes as you can see. So um, let's, uh, let's first get it together. So what you do is get this ball joint over here to, in to get inside this part. But if you can see there's a green o-ring over there, be sure that that's in place. So in order to get this in, what you will do is just press in goes in right away. First of all, just tie this that little down. And now your mount is pretty much done. So this rubber thing over here, which you get three in total, it is what is gonna grab into your bar mount. If your so, bar mount is thicker, you're gonna go use the thinner one. If your bar is thin, you're gonna use the uh, thicker ones and that go on. So what you will do is just make it like this and it fits really easy on this. So what you will do is just get it in and there it is. So this is going to, what you're going to do is, it goes in, so, um, so you're going to put this and adjust, clip it over here. Be sure to clip it in one of the levels over here and then lock it. So that way, if it, when you have it in the tube, it fits. Now this round over here is to adjust it so you can adjust the movement of this and then tie this as well. So once you find your right angle, tie it down because that press the ball joint inside so it doesn't move and he press that part so it doesn't move either. So um, let's go ahead and mount the phone, how it will look. I used it on a couple of rides on my bike. It is actually pretty good because you can film as well. So I have my GoPro and my LifeProof case shooting two different angles at the same time. So in order to put the case, what you do is start from the bottom and clip in. Done. That is it. Now, as you can see over here, you still retain the axis of the camera and you don't have problems with the angles because you're going to be rotating. So, if your bike is like this, you can put the phone like this or straight up and then just be sure to tighten it. The system to lock feels really secure. It is staying there. It's not going anywhere, especially because in the bottom part, you can see that the phone is in. The cool part about this mount is it has a lock and a lock position. If you put it on the bottom, it's locked. It won't go up. It just won't move. And when you're ready to take it out, just go to the unlock position. And there you go, and you can remove the case. So the case is really nice, branded over here with the LifeProof logo. The, uh, the, whole, the whole package is great, it's really good. And, well, let me put my phone back in the water. Um, and the package is really great. You get like the three, two, ba the extra uh, two bands, so in total of three bands. So in total of three bands for the type of uh, mount or bar that you put it in. Um, definitely a great investment for what, it's, uh, for what it goes for, especially because it's perfectly matched for your iPhone 4 LifeProof case. This case is available on life, at LifeProof.com and also it's available any of the online retailers as well as Best Buy. Again, guys, this is Raul reviewing the accessory for the LifeProof, the bike and bar mount. I hope you enjoyed this review. Good luck in your case and accessory hunting and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.